I tell you what, you come on there all smiling and twinkling, but you don't take any prisoners oh. on that show. Well, I don't, but it's it's an investment. It's my money, you know, it's, it's life. But it's, it actually isn't just about the money. I'm looking for investments I'm going to spend time with, mm. you know, and I really want to grow their businesses, so I've got to understand them. So do you make money out of the businesses you invest in, or is this a kind of philanthropic thing? No, um, it depends. You know, some works as, as in mm. business life, you know, some are hugely successful, some are a little bit successful, and some fail, you know. I mean, that's that's life, that's that's business. There's it's no really guarantee. weird watching it at home because sometimes they come in with things and I sit there and go, oh, my God, that's, a, that's fantastic. That's so clever. And then all the dragons absolutely blast it. And I think, I'd be a rubbish dragon, wouldn't but I? But does, <laughs> no, does it change your mind, though? When we ask the questions, do you think, oh, that's a good point? Or well, do you actually think we're no, rubbish? I, I, I'm not even going to ask that. No, no, <laughs> I do think, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have thought of asking that, obviously. Yeah. But I sometimes think, I have sat there and thought, no, you're wrong. wrong. That, that's going to be good, that. I'd buy that. Yeah. yeah. You know, actually, we have there. been wrong. I mean, I've been wrong once in my life, unfortunately. No, <laughs> I won't just hear the one, of it. Just the one. Which one was that? <laughs> um, uh, Tangle Tees was oh, a... Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I use that all the time. Yeah. And I, you, you were bigly wrong on that. I was yeah. bigly you wrong, big you know, and I'm big enough to admit I was bigly you know, wrong. You can even use it on Afro hair. It's that good. And it's good for oh, children. Oh, okay. oh, all right, don't rub it in. Sorry, rub it in. <laughs> I, however, invested, and I'm now a stupid. <laughs> I wish I had. Oh, my gosh, I wish I had. I'll tell you something you obviously feel very passionately about, Deborah, and I follow you on Twitter, um, and you are getting into conversations every day with people about Brexit. And, and I admire your energy, because you come back and you engage with people and you keep the conversation going. Um, why do you feel so passionately about it? Well, I actually... Um, so I started out... I was obviously a Remainer. Well, not obviously, but I was a Remainer. Um, and I, but I, I respect democracy and I value democracy beyond anything. So I actually started out saying, actually, it was a, it was a vote, and and we voted to leave. Mm. So that's it. But I think as time has gone on and I've understood, um, and, and actually I also understand people voted leave for very good reasons. So it's mm. not me thinking, what are you all doing? You know, everybody would have yeah, yeah. a very good reason for voting leave. As time has gone on and we've moved from sort of forecast to fact mm -hmm. and, and we're now staring at what could possibly be a complete no deal, which would be catastrophic. And I talk about trade. I don't... When people think, talk about business or trade, they forget that business is full of people. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's, business is just a group of people who come together and they do this, this thing mm -hmm. and they sell it to other people. And actually... Loss of trade is loss of jobs. Yeah. Loss, loss of people's businesses. Mm. I'm getting so many SMEs at the so moment. So would you? Sorry, you would right like to another. Stop me. I get a bit random. No, no, I've got oh, no. to. So you're so right you to would stop like, me. Do you think there should be another referendum? Um, I don't know. What I do, not necessarily a referendum. I think we've all got referendum fatigue. But I do think that there are very few people who have voted for them. The confusion and mess that we're yes. in at the moment mm -hmm. and therefore I think it's democratic to offer a, a chance to understand once we know what mm. leave actually yeah. means. I, I, that's what I, so I don't, um, in my opinion, and I mean this genuinely, I would love to see you as Prime Minister. Oh. <laughs> I think you'd be brilliant. I don't think you would be. But it is an interesting thing, there, isn't it? Because in, in America, a lot of the people who voted for Trump say we're voting for him because he's a businessman and we're fed up with politicians, we want someone who knows business. So for your perspective, you know, as a very successful business person, would you make that jump into yeah. politics as opposed to, you know, just engaging with people... Well, I, I, I mean, our, our political system is very, very different. So it's, you can't take a person and say, right, I can't run to be the prime no. minister. You know, it's a very different system. I actually think there is as much value with people sitting outside of politics and actually holding politics to account mm. as there are politicians. And I suit that better because I'm, I want stuff to happen. You know, and actually, politics, you have to politic to be a, yeah. be a politician. Cool I'm not good at politics. What I am good at is saying, hold on a minute, that's what you said was going to happen. Now, can we just make, make that happen? That happen. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think well, I, I can add value then? there. <laughs> oh, I'm doing <laughs> my best. To be fair, I'm doing my best. She is doing that bit. <laughs> can and you take over the Brexit? negotiations? Um, well, you see, that's an interesting one, because what are the Brexit negotiations? Mm. There are so many different angles. Now, absolutely terrifyingly, about two weeks ago, one of my business was asked what we thought our business, our, what our trade deal should look like with Brexit. By October, this has to be agreed. We have just started asking the industry what they want. 
That ter that's one of the things that triggered me yeah. into thinking, mm. no, mm. no, you should have been asking this two years ago. What are you doing? Yeah. So yeah. I guess, you know, and you I, are... I get flack for it, but I, I just well, think I, I've got to speak for it. different now. businesses who are involved in different sort of fields, so you've got a good spread.